Hello YouTube, welcome back to another Alliance War video. So as you can tell, my introduction is kind of back to normal. My voice, I would say, is probably back to normal too. Um, just thought it'd be good fun to have a couple of other people commentate on my uh, fights and videos. If people are enjoying that, obviously please let me know in the comments. Um, if not, I'll, I'll stop it, but I just thought it was a bit of a laugh. I intend to try and keep getting people onto streams and stuff where I can going forward. So, Speaking of streams, EOP, uh, done one. I one set of objective things so far so i did the double juggernaut challenge wasn't going to stream that because i only have a five star juggernaut and expected it to be just a big swear fest but it actually went a lot better than what i expected so kind of regret not streaming it now but it's done so anyway digressed back to this war so i've been given archangel dr doom and white magneto White Magneto is literally just used for pre-fights, and you see there I put one on Hulkling on Nerd 5 straight away. Tafray the Beast went in and uh, cleared that fight, so that was all well and good. And here, I'm um, just boosting up. Now, at this point, we've had a little bit of a mere um, major catastrophe in the battle group. We've dropped some crazy, like, not crazy deaths, but we've dropped a few deaths already to things that, I don't know, it's just unfortunate. So I'm kind of like super boosting, like just get these done, get it out of the way. This is a war technically for the top three spots as it stands right now in War Nine. So for SSX, this is quite this is quite a big deal um, because this is a good chance for them to kind of push on to try and elevate from just the Masters Alliance to top three, top ten sort of situation. Um, and so we've got to perform accordingly. And you can see here, I'm just kind of going through the fight with uh, Dr. Doom here. Now, <laughs> this this fight here was like me. The next one, horrific. And I mean <laughs> horrific. Oh, why am I putting these fights on YouTube? Anyway, um, so we're now finally in the Doom cycle. Um, nothing really crazy to worry about. The indestructible boost I placed on here, knowing that Nova was probably going to take me about a minute and a half, and the Nimrod again will probably take me about a minute and a half. I only have four fights this war, but I'm quite happy for that to be the case and just them keep using me as kind of like a specialist sort of thing if, if a fight's needed a certain counter or whatever and I have that option available. Give it to me, it's fine. I'll, uh, I'll happily let Slaymon run around and uh, drop every other fight on the map, to be fair to him. And he's doing a good job so far. So, fair play. This fight is horrific. If there's a fight to watch and then close the video, why is this one? The other two are boring after this. But this one, oh, terrible. So, rich get richer. Nimrod's obviously naturally going to gain power. For some reason, I just decide to eat the last part of that, which is fabulous. And now, I'm going to try and somewhat power control him. Um, even with the rich get richer. And you're going to see here, just because of the way it all goes. So he's just hit the two bars, and he's now at 10 charges, and I didn't realize. So I'm sat here like, oh, I've got an indestructible, it's fine. All right, let me just take a special three. He throws the special two, unblockable, and I just sit there and take it. And at this point, I'm like, well, that's my indestructible's gone. Um, thank God I have a shock immune champion, or else I would be dead. And this would be embarrassing. And now we're just going to kind of slow play the fight out. You can see here he's got the unstoppable now. He's still going to be gaining um, more buffs. But luckily for me, because I have the dexterity, the rich get richer was actually cancelled out. So now I've just got to actually play this fight really sensibly. Where before I could have got away with being a little bit reckless with the indestructible. But now I have to be uh, very, very steady. Oh, what an idiot. What an idiot. So you see there, I even fully take that on the block. I'm like, no, no risks, not happening, not doing it. Um, no way. It's not going off. It's not happening. Before, I could have possibly pushed him up to the special three and done the, uh, the doom cycle that way. But now I'm just like, nope, nope. Okay, you're going to have zero power when I throw the special three. So worst comes to the worst. I'm fine and safe. And... Luckily for me there, I actually learned how to uh, dodge the unblockable attack now. But you see, I'm going to be just sat here and I'm waiting. And I think, right, okay, he's got low enough power. Now's a good chance to do it. 
So I'm going to throw this now. And you can just see this fight is just taking so long. All because I just played it like an idiot at the start and lost my indestructible. But we're already two minutes in. Um, I am getting wall power healing, which is quite nice. I, uh, I can't moan a free bit of healing. But you can see that Nimrod's health is pretty much non-existent and we're done. So that was Dr. Doom's final fight for this war. You can see here that the Rintra just in front of us has a uh, pre-fight already applied to this. So this is the Horseman and here I'm just going to check quickly on my energy situation and my boosts. So I'm all out of my Indestructible, them two fights did take over the three minutes, um, which we expected that to happen. So again, just to be really, really safe, pop in another Indestructible boost. And now we're going to have a Horseman Archangel against this Rintra. Normally, most people will put Odin's on, but again, yeah, we, I didn't really think it was necessary, so we didn't. And indestructible, so I'm fine. I can take a couple of hits of whatever I need to. Just don't go crazy with rupture damage. And just, and I can't do that if I play Archangel like you should play him. You're going to see here instantly, we get very, very lucky on the Neurotoxins. He was already shut down at three, but now four is just extra damage, and it covers it a little bit. Five, six Neurotoxins. And you can just see this guy's health, like 6k of tick damage. It is wild out here. There, I thought about it, and I was like, nah, I'll wait for the next parry. Wait for the next one, and that's like 200 and whatever amount of health in 30 seconds. Absolutely crazy. Like, Archangel can just... <sighs> He's so good damage-wise sometimes. And here, we're going to go into the Sorcerer Supreme. So, sadly, uh, before in the season... We, uh, we actually got killed by this. Um, so we tried to have another go at it now. Uh, so here the White Magneto goes on for extra attack and ability accuracy increase. As well as the genuine synergy that White Magneto has with Archangel. So now what we're going to do is, you're going to see, I'm just looking around at what potions. I'm like, okay, fine, I'll use a 6k. I, only, I was only missing like 4.5k or something, I think it was in the end. But knowing that she's going to naturally gain power, I might ride. Just, I've got an indestructible. Just push up to special freeze. Try not to let her throw a different special. Uh, we'll be good. So there, I saw I had four bleeds. So purposely take a blocked hit to get a poison on. That way I know that on the heavy attack, I can get a neurotoxin. And she instantly throws a special one. And I was like, oh, what bad timing. But I decided to go for it anyway. I've got enough neurotoxins on. I am. Um, I'm doing enough damage, and I'm like, right, okay, look, this is perfect. She's going to throw a special free if she does, and my indestructible's fine. But I didn't need it. It was like a 30-second fight again, and that's my war done. So as you can see here, we died way too many times in our battle group, but sadly, um, and that ended up costing us the war, realistically. We ended up losing to D69 by one death overall, so good job to them. Um, they seem to be pushing on really well this season, and yeah, it's just unfortunate. But we'll go again. We'll come back for War 10. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I will see you very soon.